Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sergey Belov with Time Valley of Tennis, and today we're going to talk about circuit and how prize money costs in the new system they're in, uh, putting in place is transition tour that is going to replace $15,000 in 2019. So now, if you look at this article uh, that I found, it's about Noah Rubin, uh, and this player was ranked 631 in the world. Uh, and it talks about his total costs for junior obviously he had to spend a lot of money on coaching, traveling and entry fees and all that all that stuff so you can see the total cost of attending reached about forty thousand dollars and that's obviously when he got good and he started playing national tournaments um, he was playing grand slams juniors and things like that and we're talking about only attending tournaments so it's uh, paying entry fees, uh, hotels, traveling, uh, maybe flight tickets and uh, racket string and tennis balls or something at the place. Uh, we're not even talking about coaching and a lot of coaches cost a lot of money, especially top coaches in the world could cost up to $150,000, maybe even more. Uh, obviously if you have part-time coaching or you're in academy it could cost less, but in that case you risk not to uh, uh, progress as fast and not get as good and some uh, players they have a team they have a trainer they have a hitting partner so the costs just keep increasing in order to keep yourself in shape and competitive to, with other players because at the end of the day some players are not only looking to be a hundred in the world they want to win grand slams and increase as much their chances of that happening so you can see this article you can uh, and go online and, and find it. We will post a link underneath below so you can check it out. Right. Now he's ranked a lot higher, it's about 180 in the world. Obviously, he's making good money. Large, so I believe if you divide his prize money in, in the years that he played professionally, but it will be about 120,000 a year. But he Sponsorships that would be probably something that helps him out a little bit. Now, next thing we're going to talk about is prize money. How much money are you going to be making in those entry level tournaments? So, when you're starting, for example, your uh, thousand the world, whatever, you just start making points. What are the prize money you're making? So, here it is we're going to look at 15Ks and 25Ks here, prize money. And you can see that um, if you win the tournament, you're making 2100 uh, for 15K and uh, 3600 for 25K. Now, they will still take taxes off that price. So you're probably gonna end up having about 1800 here and 3200 there. And if you're playing outside of your country, they will be charging taxes for your country and country where you're playing at. So you have to take that in consideration as well. So a lot of times when players go to this central level tournaments, they don't want to spend too much time there. They want to get as many points as they can and keep going up a level and going to $50,000 turns and $60,000 turns and so on and so forth so they can get more money and uh, be able to travel and, and you know sustain themselves. In doubles, um, it says per team as you can see. So uh, if you're making $930, it means you're going to divide by two and that's how much money you're going to be making so if you lost a round of 16 you're really not making much money you might pay off half a night in a hotel so that's something you know you're you're just looking for atp points in that, in that, in that category now um we'll look at the point system as well so here you can find the amount of points that players make and here you find 25,000 plus each what does it mean and you get more points for it that's interesting um, but H means housing so basically in those tournaments the, the organization provides players mainly for our main draw players so if you qualify rounds you're not going to get housing. but if 
helps a bunch. Obviously, you're making more points. It gives you better chance to enter higher level tournaments, and uh, you don't spend money on housing only on traveling to those tournaments. Uh, so now let's see. If, let's let's see. Let's say you won. There's 15,000 tournaments. You got 18 points. You won two of those tournaments. You got 36 points. What does it mean? You just have to go to uh, players ranking and check what the rankings are in this year. Now, most of the time, 35 point 30 or 35 points uh, are those points for people to be about 750 in the world, 750 in the world. So that doesn't guarantee that you're going to be in the main draw of any tournaments, even $15,000 tournaments yet. Uh, you'll be close, but you might be still in qualifying rounds. But most of the time, depending on the time of the year or you know where you're playing, you could potentially be in the main draw of those tournaments. Now, how do you find out uh, about the tournaments and how you know if you're in the main draw or not? Uh, you would have to uh, find uh, cutoffs, which is on on the page. Uh, on the ITF tour, and it's going to show you all the tournaments in the world and the cutoffs in those tournaments. So you can see here Hong Kong, Hong Kong Los Angeles, Intel Turkey, all the tournaments, and it tells you the number one city in the main draw, the, city player, the last city player in the main draw. Every all the information you need if the qualifying rounds, who was the last one to enter. And R means non rank player. The way they'll take ranking in consideration, so if you enter for singles, they'll count your singles points, ATP singles points, then uh, national singles points, and then they'll count non rank players and they'll allow them to play in the main draw. So you can see and look all, all through all these tons of tournaments, and you can see how many tournaments there are. And and now you can see how many $15,000 tournaments a year. You can see a ton of tournaments, and I believe it's about 657 tournaments a year of $15,000. Now, there are going to be a huge change happening in the near future, which calls Transition Tour. You can find it uh, under uh, about, uh, Pro Circuit and Transition Tour. You just click on that, it'll give you some videos about it. So basically, what's going to happen is uh, they're going to be canceling those $15,000 tournaments, replacing them with transition tour, where it's going to be different point system. We're not sure yet if they're going to be paying money for those tournaments or not, if it's going to be part of Pro Circuit or it's going to be completely different. But what we're sure of is it's going to happen in 2019 and uh, it's going to be different system. It might take a little bit longer to get into the professional tour. They're going to cut off. Uh, the rankings at 750 in the world. If you're not in 750, you will be a part of the transition tour. And uh, if you're in 750, you'll be able to play $25,000 tournaments and above. Uh, now, are they going to increase the amount of $25,000 tournaments or $50,000 tournaments? We won't know until we get to 2019. Uh, so we're still keeping our eye on it and uh, trying to see what's going to happen. Uh, but for now, there will be a huge change coming up, so pay attention to it and learn more about it as the, the information comes up. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel today, and if you liked our video, please like and subscribe, and we'll post all these uh, articles in the link below. Thank you.